it is this kind of comments right here that causes us to continue to preach the gospel, the true gospel of Yeshua, Jesus Christ. My brother, you were once enemy to Christ. And yet on the cross, he says, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Christ says it best. If you cannot forgive, your heavenly father will not forgive you. This is why we call these so-called Hebrew Israelites to leave the camp because of this mentality right here. Yo, it is this kind of comments right here that causes us to continue to preach the gospel, the true gospel of Yeshua, Jesus Christ. My brother, you were once enemy to Christ. And yet on the cross, he says, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Christ says it best. If you cannot forgive, your heavenly Father will not forgive you. This is why we call these so-called Hebrew Israelites to leave the camp because of this mentality right here. Because you are the strongest dumb mother. Oh, I can't stand you two-third niggas, man. I can't wait till the Lord come and just and, and wipe you two-third niggas out, man. You bald-faced, no beard, having no knowledge, having running your mouth, putting some stupid-ass videos up. You know, help hurting, hurt, hurting the cause and helping the enemy. In a thriving black community where you can find refuge from discrimination and violence in the days when racism was at its peak. Such communities existed in the United States during segregation, and at least 200 of them were established by 1888. But as time passed, many of these communities disappeared from the map, completely erased from history. You may ask, how is that even possible? Why were these towns deliberately hidden and erased? And what can we learn from this dark and troubling part of American history? In this video, we will reveal some of the major black towns now hidden underwater or transformed into something else, and their black inhabitants displaced. The evil history of the flooding of black towns. Away from what? Every time you see me, you wanna mess with me. I'm tired of it. It's time today. This know? guy right here is forcibly no, for? trying to lock somebody up today, for breaking up a fight. Everybody standing here, they told you I didn't do nothing. I did not sell nothing. Because every time you see me, you wanna harass me, you wanna stop me, you wanna sell cigarettes. I'm minding my business, officer. I'm minding my business. Please just leave me alone. I told you the last time, please just leave me alone. Don't touch me, please. Do not touch me. Damn. Alright, right, stop, 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 all he did was break up a fight, and this is what happens for breaking up a fight. Stacked up by yes. the desk sergeant, a bunch of mattresses, little mats, and he goes into a one-person cell, one cot, tiny little cell, one person. There's already somebody in it asleep on the cot. It's three in the morning. He looks at the wood, at this tiny room and a cement floor, and he says, "Can I get one of those cots?" And the cop says, "You're not getting nothing." And then he says, you want me to sleep on the floor? I didn't do anything. You've dragged me down and I didn't want me to sleep on the floor. So to them, he opened himself up to it. He oh, was he uppity. Had it he, was ang he was angry. He was giving them lip. He got mad because they couldn't be persuaded to give a guy a little mat to put on the floor when they're only supposed to put one guy in the cell to begin with so that he could lie down at 3 o'clock in the morning on the cement floor. So that, gave them the, that gave them the right to, hey, we got good news. We got a guy who's trouble. Okay. Let's go. And you know what Get I the tank. Hospitalized and treated for his injuries, they actually put him back behind bars. He was driven back to the jail where he was held for several days before he posted $1,500 bond for four counts of 
property damage. Police officer John Baird signed complaints swearing on pain of perjury that Davis had bled on his uniform and those of three fellow officers. In fact, let me give you the exact report that was filed by the police officials. Henry Davis did then and there unlawfully commit the offense of, quote, property damage to wit, did transfer blood to the uniform. So let, let's understand this, okay? Now they know they got the wrong guy, okay? And they beat the crap out of him. And they, and by the way, he got a concussion too, on top of everything else. So then they bring, and then they say, well, we got to charge him with something, right? Oh, you bet, you bled on our uniform while we were kicking the living crap out of you and and pummeling you. So that's property damage to my uniform. Okay, there, there you go. We and charge you with something. And it just what I'm about to say is no offense to any of my black set apart brothers at all. So don't misconstrue what I'm about to say. It, but if you're a white person living in a big city, the black man is about to eat you alive. They're about to chew you up and spit you out. My advice to you is if you're white in a big city, you better get you better get out of there and you better run from your lives cause uh there's a lot of set apart black people that know the truth. In fact, probably a lot more set apart black people know the truth. In fact, I know they are than white people. But there's a few of us white people that tend on the truth, and we know that most of the black people don't, they're not on the narrow path. So they don't know the truth. And they're coming for vengeance. And Yah has even stirred them up a lot worse than what they normally are. Oh, oh, y'all, the Creator's wretching there and stirred the pot. He's made them even more mad at the white people. So, uh, you better get out of the cities. You better get out of the big cities if you're white. And there's probably a few black people that might get on here and, uh, and give you a warning, too, because they're in the know. Payback is a bitch. You're about to find that out. A lot of the horrific things that was done to the dark-skinned people has been hidden. So those things are going to be come to life because they're going to become real for the opposite race. Everything turns upside down and backwards at some point. What a time to be white, huh? <laughs> Take on it. Man, I mean, you know, all people's lives, it seemed like the the black people wanted to be white. There's going to come a time when the white people's going to want to become black. Very, very, very soon. I'll guarantee you that 95, after about uh, two or three months in hell, you're probably going to wish you was black. Because the blacks are going to rule. Uh, especially, I think, maybe the Indians. That might be some bad news for them. This the is the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, starting off at verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith Yahweh. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Isaiah 55, starting off at verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith Yahweh. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. And the only people that can understand somewhat 
in this flesh, the thoughts of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is the remnant. Okay, that's coming, that's being built and brought back together right now, the house of Dawada. Okay, which we hope and pray to be because even, you know, as you know, the uh, the beloved elder uh, Manatazat Ba did a video on this. There's Jay talking this nonsense and this bullshit about forgiving uh, our, 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 our um, oppressors, man, which is completely off, man. You know, we, we, we study to show ourselves to prove and we know that the Lord is a, a, a vengeful Lord, man. And, you know, those that touch the Israelites touch the apple of his eye, man. OK, we had to, you know, take heed to our punishment and live this out and suffer and, you know, go through hell and endure this nightmare. So these heathens have to go through the same, it's like the same but worse uh, 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 punishment, man. OK, because the Lord is a uh, uh, fair and balanced, man. And as I just read, man, our thoughts are not his thoughts, man. You know, furthermore, you two thirds, man, you, you slave plantation Christians, man. OK, and you just, you know. Uh, seeking love, seeking validation, seeking comfort, seeking uh, equality from the adversary, man. Okay, when Massa, Massa, you know, he hates your fucking guts, man. And the Lord's going to put the spirit on these, uh, uh, you know, these red monkeys to show you, man, to show you that he truly hates your guts and you know that you, uh, you're you in the way of uh, him achieving the blessing. Okay? But let's continue, man, because, you know, Nobody's bemoaning Israel. Nobody's seeking to help you, you, you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native and Samoan Indians. Nobody's, you know, uh, fighting for your rights. Nobody's fighting for your um, <clears throat> uh, what is that um, your reparations. Nobody's uh, uh making a stance and you know uh, uh enforcing new laws for you to have a a, a fair uh a a a fair um. Uh, life in uh, this society, man. Nobody's doing it, man. Every 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 nation is worried about their nation, man. But you Israelites are the only ones worried about everybody else besides your own nation, man. Jeremiah fifteen, verse five: For who shall have pity upon thee? Okay, for who shall have pity upon thee? Nobody has had pity upon you, so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians, man. Okay, and Latino, Salakia. Nobody's had, have had pity upon you. Okay? For who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? Or who shall bemoan thee? Or who shall go aside to ask how thou doest? Nobody gives a damn about you, Negroes, you Hispanics, you Native or Seminole Indians, but yet you, you'll, you'll, you'll make a you'll fuss and fight. Go against your own people. To um, show your alliance, to show your compassion, to show your love to the adversaries when the adversaries, the enemies, massa, especially, because that's the main one you're worried about is this red monkey, you know, to, to show that you have love for massa and massa hates your fucking guts, man. OK. And, you know, these other clips are just clips to show you some of the things that you Jake's go through, man. And this is just. You know, a, a a pinch of of stuff, man. You know, I try to look for other stuff, but you know, I want to get the lesson out, so I just put this together and you just to show you that these people have no uh uh consideration for your life. They have no consideration for your well being. They they uh they don't see you as human. They see you as a possession. They see you as uh uh at a lower state, lower than animals. They treat cats, dogs. OK, again, they treat cats and dogs better than they treat you Israelites, man. But yet you have you Sambo ass niggas, you know, uh, having a tinter tantrum over what the Lord is presenting and what the Lord is going to do, you know, and then twisting scriptures to try to, to, to attempt to apply them to these fucking heathens, man. OK, again, Jeremiah 15, verse five, for who? shall have pity upon thee. And the only uh, a pity we're going to receive, you no know, uh, salvation, judgment, justice, is from Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Not from, not from no man that, you know, wants to keep you, it's like it, not no man, not no nation that wants to keep you in their possession, man. Okay? You're not going to receive uh, 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 remorse, mercy from your oppressor, man. 
For who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? Or who shall bemoan thee? So who was out here bemoaning you Israelites? Out here pleading your cause. Out here saying that, you know, you, 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 our nation is being done wrong. You know, they, they need to be rewarded this. They need to be rewarded that. They need to have their own land. They need to have, you know, uh, uh, their own uh, customs. They need, they, need, they need freedom. Who was out here bemoaning us? Not a damn soul, man. But yet you Israelites, you Israelites will fight, will fight for the heathen, man. Or who shall go aside to ask how thou doest? You go to the damn the corner store, the grocery store. You deal with these damn Koreans or so-called Koreans, uh, 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 China, Chinese and Japanese and uh, uh, Arabs. They treat you like shit in their store, man. Watching you while you in the store, like you like you gonna steal something. Okay, but yet, but yet they they gonna go aside and ask you how you doing, how 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 was your day today, how was life treating you, oh is everything okay? I can't stand you niggas, man. Real talk, man. But let's continue, man. It's the book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 25. But he that doeth wrong, okay, and what nation has been doing this wrong continuously, continuously, and, and has not taken a break from doing wrong to us in every, sing, every single aspect, every single matter of life, on this soil, who has been doing us wrong continuously? And I'm tired of you, you niggas, you wicked ass two third uh, 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 remedial niggas talking about they all ain't bad. And I, I pray and I hope the ones that you talk about, the ones that you that you make that statement towards, oh, they ain't all bad. I pray and I hope that the Lord brings those ones that you think about that you know they ain't all that bad. They ain't like that. I hope the Lord brings them to put you uh, uh, to death, to bring judgment upon you, man. Okay? But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done. And we did wrong and we received judgment for the wrong which we have done. And as a matter of fact, we're still receiving judgment right now, man. We ain't free. Okay? We don't have our own military. We don't have our own land. We don't have our own uh, uh, currency. Look at our nation. Look at our woman. Look at the men. Bugged out. Got got multiple demons on them, man. Completely out of order, man. Our people are being judged right now and can and and, and judged continuously and are going to be judged uh, uh, more in the very near future, man. Because of your deeds, because of what you produce, what you promote to society, man. And everything that you promote and advertise is against you, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Shall receive for the wrong which he have done. And there is no respecter. It's like, and there was no respect of persons. And the Lord is not going to respect no fucking Edomites just because you want to save them. Just because you have a, a, a soft spot in your heart for them. You get your damn check. When you, when you're, supposed to be, you're supposed to be getting paid every single day that you work the say of the law. You get your damn check. You know, you got somebody named Fryker taking money out your check. You know, all these taxes, all these fees out of your, your wages, which you're not supposed to be taxed, okay, off of wages. But the Lord is not going to, you know, respect those that are, are sealed for judgment, man. Okay, and as a matter of fact, let's grab this. Because just like I just stated, where uh, we had to go, uh, we had to pay for, um, and which we're still paying, we had to pay for our transgressions. So look, man, this is what the Lord said in the law. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 14, verse 18. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, is long suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression. Okay, and, and that only applies to Israel, man. That only applies to Israel, man. Continuing on. And by no means, okay, by no means, no negotiating, no bargaining, no, you know, well, if you let me slide, Lord, you know, I do this. You know, if you if you take it easy on me, Lord, you know, I, I you know, I, I, I can do this, I can do that. 
No, ain't, ain't none of that nonsense. No bargaining, no negotiating, nothing. And by no means clearing the guilty. And who is guilty? Who's running the world right now and prospering off of our blood, sweat, and tears, man? Handing down that, that wealth from generation to generation. Making these unrighteous decrees, unrighteous legislations, man. Who's doing that? The same ones that you said it ain't, oh, they ain't all bad. Not all of them. They prospering off of it too. And you have seen plenty, plenty, plenty of videos where people have asked them, would you give it back? And what did they say? Some of them, some of them didn't say a damn thing and others said no. So what, what type of mentality is that? What, what type of that means they don't care about your state. They don't care about uh, uh, your um, your captivity. They don't care about your struggle. Because they live in deliciously in a, in, in a nice size house. Probably three or four cars. Going on vacation four four times out the year. All that, man. And by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. So the Lord, man, the Lord's going to keep his word, man. Our power is not a power that he should lie, man. Judgment is going to happen whether you like it or not. And I pray and I hope that the Lord judge you Israelites that have this mentality, man. That's literally out here trying to seek love and, and save Massa, man. You niggas make me sick, man. I'm so tired. Of, I'm I'm so tired of you two thirds, man. I can't take it, man. I cannot take you. I, I'm just sick of you, you two thirds, man. But the Lord is not going to acquit. Okay, as as is, I, I believe the book of Nahum, which the uh, beloved uh, elder Manasseh by read in his video, the Lord should not acquit the wicked, man. We we wasn't a, a, acquitted. Of our transgressions, of our, of our iniquities, so you mean, so you mean, you mean, you mean, the, you mean to tell me, and every other brother out here sacrificing our lives and sit right here doing what the Lord told us to do, that He's going to acquit the people that have been putting us through hell, slaughtering us through left and right, just because you you want to save them? You niggas have got to go, man. You have got to go, man. The Lord's going to keep his words, man. He's not, he, as, it, as it says, by no means clearing the guilty. So guess what? Not clearing the guilty. Matter of fact, let's go here real quick. Because even, even the wicked two-third is precious in the, in the Lord's eyes, man. Because you're still Israelites at the end of the day. It's the book of Psalms 116. I'm going to start off at verse... Man, so much meat. It's a lot, yeah. I'm just trying to see where I'm where I want to start off at. It's a lot, yeah. Uh this is Psalms 116. I'm gonna start off at verse 9. I will walk before Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai in the land of the living. And that's what we're doing, man. We're walking, uh, but we're walking with Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai because we're uh, attempting to the best of our ability to live uh, upright, okay, to live up uh, uprightly and righteously, and to uh, show forth our dedication, our alliance, our um, our uh, love, our fear, by you know, applying work, effort, constant, and being persistent in our deeds, okay. I will walk before. In the land of the living. I believe, therefore, have I spoken. And that's what the, the, the real uh, 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 men do. You know, the hopeful elect. You know, we, we, we believe and we speak. We speak uh, uh, these words that Yahweh has put in our hearts, man. You know, it, it burns in us to, to speak these words. It's, it's, a, a, it's a passion that we have. It's a, a, a real vocation, a real job. You know, we take a, a lot of pleasure in um, doing our father's business, man. 
And we're also very thankful to even to even be considered. And that's the word uh, uh, of the week. Consider to even be considered to uh, uh, have a position, but also to have that position to be doing it uh, uh, correctly. OK, and righteously on the right hand side and not the left. OK. I believe, therefore, have I spoken. I was greatly afflicted and we're afflicted. You know, but you, 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 you two third Jakes, man, you 501 C3 is and you wicked Israelites that claim y'all here doing the Lord's business. But y'all not. You're not afflicted, man. You know, you, you, a lot of you Israelites want this place to continue. You want, you want this place to be healed. You want this place to prosper, man. When we're begging and sending up supplications and, and, and meditating and asking the Lord daily to destroy this place, to uh, 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 quickly bring these prophecies forth so we can uh, uh, go home, man, so we can have salvation, man, so we can uh, 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 have comfort, have uh, uh, to be able to relax, to, to have rest, man. But you niggas just literally want to uh, uh, save Massa, man. You want to save Massa. And out of everybody, uh, so like out of every other nation on the planet, the main one you worried about is Massa, man. You ain't worried about the Moabites. You ain't worried about the Ammonites. You ain't worried about the Ishmaelites. You ain't worried about the Hamites. You worried about Massa. Okay? I said in my haste, all men are liars. And that's what you're seeing right here is a damn liar. And the Lord is going to uh, make him uh, 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 shameful. He's going he's gonna to be very shameful in the day of judgment, man. I said in my haste, all men are liars. What shall I render unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for all his benefits towards me, towards Israel? Okay. And furthermore, right now towards the elect, which we hope and pray to be. I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name, okay? Because, you know, this Bible is our salvation because the Lord has awoken us and, and enlightened us and given us the understanding of his will, of his words, of, of this testimony that we speak daily, man, okay? And, and, and that salvation, we embrace it, okay? We hold on to it. We beg the Lord not to take it from us, man. That's that cup that we, you know, we, we drink continuously, man. That uh, uh, gives us that knowledge, wisdom, and stability, man. Okay? And, and the name, man. We call upon the name, man. Which you have to know the name. There are various precepts that says, call upon the name. Okay? Call upon the name of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. I will pay my vows unto Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. And, and, and then with us come, coming back into this truth, with the Lord waking us up, you know, it, that's a big vow for us to you know, fulfill our duties, man, which we hope that we do to the best of our ability and uh, righteously in the eyes of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Now in the presence of all his people, okay, in the presence of all people, the two thirds, the heathen, all of everybody, man. And we know everything, you know, all, everything that we endure comes with the territory. You know, all these, you know, wicked Israelites preaching and teaching the gospel wrong, these wicked Israelites in the 501c3 slave plantation churches and, you know, these niggas, these fake thugs and, you know, all this comes with the territory, man. The Lord is about balance, man. OK, but this is the point right here. Verse 15, precious in the sight of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is the death of his saints. And that has happened a lot here in uh, Babylon, the great man. And, you know, even though the Lord brings forth that judgment, look who's doing it. Look who's bringing forth death. Who was created to bring death? Who was created to, to bring forth bloodshed? Massa, who you so worried about. You so worried about. But what did the Lord say in Zechariah? Let's grab this, man. Because you, you, you're going to have to pay regardless, man. There's nothing you can do about it, man. I, I, I'm like, I'm, I, man, look, man, I, man, man, boy, oh boy. Zechariah chapter 2. I'm going to start off at verse six. Ho, ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north. OK, and that that flee is mentally and spiritually, because obviously, you know, we don't we, we can't go back to our land. The Lord has to take us back. 
this place has to be destroyed. A lot of prophecies have to come forth. So we uh, mentally and spiritually flee from this place. Okay, as it says in Romans chapter 12, verse 2, we're, we're not conformed to this world. We, we despise and reject this world. Okay, we prophesy and condemn this world. Okay, in every single aspect of it, man. All right. Okay, uh, and flee from the land of the north, saith Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, for I have spread you abroad as the four winds of the heaven, saith the Lord Yahweh. And, you know, Israelites are spread across the four corners of the earth. Okay, but the, the, the great uh, awakening, the great salvation is going to happen here in Babylon the Great, okay, in the Americas. Verse 7, deliver thyself. And how do we deliver ourselves? You know, repent. Uh, acknowledge our transgressions. You know, it's a process that we do. You know, we repent, we study, show ourselves approved, and we take heed to our rightful uh, heritage, our rightful customs, our rightful uh, 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 um, inheritance. Okay? The Lord gave us the blueprint and woke us up to <coughs> receive the understanding of the blueprint. Okay? So that's how we deliver our stuff is by taking heed to the Lord's words, man, and applying them. Deliver thyself, O to Zion, that that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. And this is the daughter of Babylon that we're in right now. Okay. Deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. For thus saith Yahweh of hosts, after the glory have he sent me unto the nations, which spoiled you. For he that toucheth you, okay, you Israelites, for he that toucheth you, toucheth the apple of his eye. Do you hear that? For he that toucheth you, toucheth the apple of his eye. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? So our people have been touched and are continuously being touched, are continuously you know, being uh, 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 judged and put to death and going all going through all types of uh, hell, okay? And this uh, 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 massacre captivity, man. This captivity that's all about bloodshed. Verse 9, For behold, I will shake mine hand upon them, and they shall be a spoil to their servants. Do you hear that? Because we're the servants right now, and they're going to be a spoil to us, man. And that's going to, and you know, I don't want to write this out. We get to see that that's going to uh, 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 make us rejoice even more, man, to see that judgment, that vengeance finally come upon them, okay? And they shall be a spoil to their servants, and ye shall know that Yahweh of a host have sent me. Man, oh, man. Man, oh man, this is your paw, man. Matter of fact, what is that? James, James chapter, I think that's chapter two. James chapter two, verse 13. For he shall have judgment without mercy that have show no mercy and mercy shall rejoice against judgment. Do you hear that? For he shall have judgment without mercy that have showed no mercy because again they don't haven't shown us no mercy okay they they haven't shown us no mercy and they're not going to show us any mercy and furthermore when the lord turns them up and jacob's trouble is, is turned to the max and you know full throttle you, you're going to realize that you're going to realize everything that you said and how you how you try to fight for these people and you know, you, you thought Billy Bob was about you. You thought, you know, uh, little, little uh, raccoon boy was, he was your friend. Okay. He, he Clayton, you know, Clayton was the best one to go get drunk with, you know, to go to the bar, have shots with. You know, Brad, you know, you, Brad was your homeboy. You, you always watch the the, uh, the football games with him. Hey, that's going to change, man. Brad going to be hunting your ass, man. Okay. And Brad gonna be hunting your ass. Clayton, Clayton gonna uh, try to shoot your ass with a uh, with a uh, some 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 type of new gun that he built. All right. Well, let's continue. I got a few more precepts. And, you know, I could have grabbed a whole bunch of other precepts, but I just grabbed the ones that came to mind real quick. You know, and I don't want to rock his ass edifying. Well, just to prove the point, man. You know, the Lord, 
the Lord is not going to listen to you two third wicked niggas, man, trying to save master, man. The Lord's going to judge these heathens, point blank, period. And, and, he, and this Bible only only applies to Israel, and that'll be the last precept we get when we uh, close out. Uh, Numbers thirty five verse thirty three. So ye shall not pollute the land where ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and blood has soiled this uh 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 uh. Uh, uh, captivity, okay, the uh, soil of Babylon, okay, and, and, you know, all soil on the earth, but in this captivity captivity right now, uh, uh, I believe the name of this, this land is Azareth, if I'm saying it correctly, but, you know, you have a lot of uh, Gadite, uh, uh, Reubenites, uh, uh, Asher, Asherites, uh, uh, Issachar, you know, um, uh, uh, Zebulon, you have a lot of Northern Kingdom blood shed on this land, man. You know, starting back in 1492, all the way up to now, and so in Southern Kingdom too. So like in Southern Kingdom too, okay. All, a lot of blood has been shed and defiled on this land, man. And so, what is the Lord going to do about that? Continuing on, for blood it defiled the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So who's been shedding blood? Who's been shedding all the blood, homeboy? Who's been shedding all the blood? Whose blood is the Lord going to shed? Yeah, massa, massa. Okay, that's what that's what you niggas should just say, massa. When we talking about massa, when we talking about my master, we sick balls. That's what you negroes should say, man. Because you look stupid, man. Amos chapter 1, starting off at verse 11. Thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, for three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sir. Do you hear that? I will not, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did sue his brother with the the sword, okay, and did and did cast off all pity, no mercy, no pity, no remorse, no consideration, no empathy, no sympathy, nata. But yet you, you simple-minded, stupid pieces of shit, want to fight for massa. <sighs> Thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. For three transgressions of Edom, okay, the so-called self-proclaimed white race, and for four, I will not, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tell perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever, but I will send a fire Upon Teman, which shall devour the palaces of Basra, and this is Basra, man. And that that hit, you know, that hit so hard. Let me look in the Good News translation real quick and see how it hits it here real quick. I might read it there. Give me one second. <clears throat> Let me see how that hits. Mm. All right, this is the Good News translation, Amos chapter one, verse eleven. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai says, the people of Edom have sinned again and again. And for this, I will certainly punish them. They hunted down their relatives, the Israelites, the, as it says right here, it's like in the Israelites, and showed them no mercy. Their anger had no limits. Do you hear this? And they never let it die. Man, that's self-explanatory. I ain't got to say nothing else about that. That's scary, man. Real talk. That's let's, let's grab some more precepts, man. That is scary. If you want to say the heathen? Let's see what the Lord say about the heathen, man. We were so worried about massa, so that's what we're gonna we're gonna focus on massa. Okay. 
This is the book. It's, going, it's the Good News Translation. It's the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, starting off at verse, verse 15. The day is near when I, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, will judge all nations, Edom. And the Lord made Lord said all nations, but, but but one in particular, one one special nation is getting a special type of ass whooping. Edom, what you have done will be done to, done to you. Do you hear that? What you have done will be done to you. So just sit back and think, Jake. All the shit, all the hell, all the uh, unrighteousness. All the wickedness, all the evil that these so-called self-proclaimed white people have done to you Israelites is going to be done to them worse. What you have done will be done to you. You will get back what you have given. You will get back what you have given. My people, the Israelites, have drunken a bitter cup of punishment on my scared hill. Woo, man, this is hitting hard. My people have drunk a bitter cup of punishment on my scarred hill. But all the surrounding nations will drink a still more bitter cup of punishment. They will drink it all and vanish away. Man, yo, this is this is self-explanatory. I'm gonna read verse 16 again, man. This 15 and 16 hit hard in, in the GNT. My people have drunk a bitter cup of punishment on my scarred hill, but all the surrounding nations will drink a still more bitter cup of punishment. They will drink it all and vanish away. I'm just going to grab another precept. <laughs> and you're going to say, I'm just going to grab another precept. Re Revelation chapter 18, verses 5 and 6 in the KJV. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities, reward her even as she rewarded you and double onto her according to her works in the cup, in the cup which she hath filled, fill to her double. Mm, 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 mm. Man, and that cup is going to be bitter and they're going to drink continuously and I just had a precept. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, bring it back to me. What was that precept I just had in my head, Lord? Shuckles. Oh, man. Uh, it's Lamentations. The water. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Makakwadash. The water. Let me see here. I believe it was Yesus Lamentations, chapter 4. Uh, like it. Lamentations chapter 4 Starting off in verse 21 Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom that, dwell, that dwellest in the land of Uz The cup also shall pass through unto thee Thou shalt be drunken And shalt make thyself naked The punishment of thine iniquity Is accomplished, O daughter of Zion He will no more carry thee away into captivity he will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. So there's nothing that you can do about it, Jake. These Edomites are going to get that ass whooping. Or they're they going to get that belt. They're going to get that spiritual belt, okay? From Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. They're going to get that judgment. They're going to drink that cup. Double upon them, man. And you're going to be, you're going to be looking stupid in the kingdom, man. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins, and what what are, what are some of their what are, what are some of their sins, their transgressions that they love committing, that they get pleasure out of? You know, as they say in the world, they get they get a hard on. 
You know, when they when they do this stuff. And what what is one of those uh, transgressions? Let's grab this. Ezekiel 35, starting off at verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. So the time that we was in hardcore bondage and we got the delusion, okay, of, of uh, so-called freedom, which that ownership, that uh, slavery was uh, 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 transferred from private ownership to government ownership. Okay, that's all That's all that happened. That's all this, uh, the 13th Amendment was about, okay? You're still a slave, okay? They just, you know, uh, created uh, social security cards and birth certificates, man, okay? Because when you was an actual slave in bondage and chains and all that, you didn't have social security cards. You didn't have birth certificates, okay? Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end, therefore, as I live, saith Yahweh power, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee. Sith thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. So the Lord said, you, you, you don't hate blood. You pursue blood. You eat blood. You you love to 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 uh, uh 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 feel blood, smell blood, you know all that. That's part of your mo. That's part of your uh uh your um your blueprint, your DNA, man. You have to shed blood. You are a bloody man, as the scriptures state, man. Keep me away from the bloody man. Okay, continuing on, verse seven. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate. Do you hear that, Jake? Do you hear what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai gonna do to your master? Do you, Jake? Do you hear? Listen, listen, Jake. Do you hear what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai gonna do to your master? Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it him that passeth out and him that returneth, and I will fill his mountains. With his slain men. Now, if I'm correct, and if I have any type of uh, intelligence or, you know, intellect in me, I'm I'm sure when it says slain men, that means uh, uh, putting people to death. If I'm correct, slain men in thine hills and in thy valleys and in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. So the Lord, the Lord is going to be dropping Edomites left and right everywhere, everywhere. And why is that? Because they run the earth. So wherever they step, they're going to be slain, especially in the valley of Yahweh Shippot, man, when the Armageddon is sparked, especially in the valley of Yahweh Shippot. Let's go here. I got two more precepts. I know we're going to close out, but you know, I, I ain't want to go this long, but it is what it is, man. I figured it was, but you know, it's the Lord, man. Uh, this is the book of Jeremiah chapter 30. I'm going to start off at verse um, I'm going to start off at verse 13. There is none to plead thy cause. Okay, so so why why is not your your, uh, your Edomites that you say ain't all that bad that you want to save so much? How come they ain't pleading your cause, Jake? How come they ain't standing up for our nation? How come they ain't trying to fight for our rights? How come they ain't trying to fight to get our land back? How come they ain't trying to fight for uh, equality for for you Israelites? You know, how come they ain't you know at at, at 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 those court cases making sure those uh, uh those red as those red silverbacks get locked up for slinging for you know for slaying you Jake's left and right? I don't I don't see none of that. I don't see nobody at these court cases. When these cops is killing you Israelites, you know, all this stuff is being done. I don't see nobody protesting to, to, to make sure y'all go to jail. No, no Edomites, heathens. Okay, not you Israelites, you, you Edomites and you heathens. I don't see none of that happening. I don't see nobody in, in the, uh, the DA's office, the district attorney's office, nobody in the judicial system seeking justice for all you slain Israelites, man. There is none to plead thy cause that thou mayest be bound up. 
Thou has no healing medicines. And you Israelites, man, we this is a prime example, man. You know, the beginning, the, the, the first video that you saw, this is a prime example of Jake needing medicine, man. Jake needs that physician. Okay, and that physician is Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Okay? And that's who we have cleaved on to. We have cleaved on to Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, man, to receive that um medication. To receive that uh uh Slacky is so many words going through my head. Just to receive that uh 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 that uh, uh that help from the uh uh, uh 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 true medicine that we have from Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Verse fourteen: All thy lovers have forgotten thee. Okay, all that all thy lovers have forgotten thee; they seek thee not. Cause what do they tell you? Oh, I love you, buddy. You're my you're you're my brother in Christ. I love you, bud. I love you, Daryl. Oh, you do, you do, you do, Clayton. I love you, boy. <laughs> love is an action word. And trust and trust and believe. These either minds ain't showing that they love you. All thy lovers have forgotten thee; they seek thee not. For I have wounded thee with a wound of an enemy, with the chastisement of a cruel one. And who was the enemy? Who's the cruel one? You're looking at one of them right now. And that's telling you, you, you people. You know, he 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 got more sense than than a first, than a, than a Jake in the, in the beginning of the video. He know what his people have has did, okay. But he, you know he doesn't. And Yah is not the name of Shehawa. And furthermore, when he, he said at the, uh, at the end, well, you you, you blacks might be because the Indians those are our brothers. We are gonna rule beside one another, okay? The so called black, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, and Hispanics we're all family. We're all brothers and sisters. We are gonna rule together. The Lord's gonna put our people back in their right mind, in the kingdom. But right now, it's about it's about the remnant, the house of Dawada. Okay, with the chastisement of a cruel one, for the multitude of thy iniquities, because thy sins were increased. So the Lord whooped thy ass for what we've done. So you mean to tell me the Lord's not gonna whoop their ass for what they continue to do? Jay, you lost your damn mind, man. Verse uh, uh verse fifteen. Why criest? Thou for thine affliction, thy sorrows is incurable for the multitude of thine iniquity, because thy sins were increased. So, you know, we, we sinned, we, 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 we went off and we got punished. OK, I have done these things unto thee. So the Lord did these things unto us. So you mean to tell me the Lord's not going to me hold that. Let me hold that. Let me go right here. Wisdom of Solomon, because they're they going to get a way worse ass whooping than what we got. Uh. I think that's chapter 12. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12, verse 22. Therefore, whereas thou didst chasten us, okay, because we get corrected quickly and swiftly in the blink of an eye, man. The Lord don't waste no time on checking us Israelites, man. All right? Because he loves us, okay? We're his children, his firstborn. Therefore, whereas thou did, it's like, therefore, whereas thou doest chasten us, thou scourgest our enemies a thousand times more. Do you hear that? Thou scourgest our enemies a thousand times more. So they're going to get it way worse than how, how we got it. Because we're the apple of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai's eye. So Jeremiah 30, verse 15 from the top. Why criest thou for thy affliction? For thy sorrow is incurable. For the multitude, for the multitude of thine iniquity, because thy sins were increased, I have done these things unto thee. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. Do you hear that, Jake? Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. All thine adversaries, which was which this was enemy, oppressor, okay? All thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee, Salaki, and they that spoil. Salaki. Let me read that from the top. Jeremiah 30, verse 16. Therefore, all thy it's like all they that devour thee shall be devoured. 
and all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. So what has been done to us is going to be done to them righteously. Because we ain't going to be out here doing no fucking butt breaking none of that bullshit. We ain't going to be out here, you know, uh, popping nobody's wives and none of the other. So we're going to do everything righteously. Okay. But, you know, they're going to be in captivity. We're going to tax the hell out of these, out of these, especially these Edomites. Man, all you heathens, but you Edomites got to get it worse, man. You Edomites got to get it, get it so, so worse, man. We're going to be doing a lot. Man, I cannot wait, man. Verse 17, for I will restore health unto thee and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith Yahweh, because they called thee an outcast, saying, this is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Because we're the only ones that need to be healed. We're the only ones that are going through hell. We're the only ones that are living a nightmare. We're the only ones that are be treating and called outcast. Nobody is seeking us unless they're making money off of us. Nobody is seeking to assist us in a better life or to, to seeking to assist us in a... Uh, uh, goodness gracious, I can't think of this daggone word. It's from the tip of my tongue, man. Uh, uh, for uh, equality, man. For uh, For freedom, man. Okay, I'm gonna jump down. Um, uh, I'm gonna jump down to the verse 20. Their children also shall be as aforetime, and their congregation shall be established before me, and I will punish all that oppress them. And who was oppressing us? Every nation, but who's the head nation oppressing us? The Edomites, the one that you're so worried about, Massa. Okay. And their nobles shall be of themselves, and their governor shall proceed from the midst of them. And I will cause him to draw near, and he shall approach unto me. For who is this that engageth his heart to approach unto me? Sayeth Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And ye shall be my people, and I will be your power. Behold, the whirlwind of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai goeth forth with fury, a continuing whirlwind. It shall fall with pain upon the head of the wicked. And who was the actual wicked? The so called self proclaimed white people. Massa. That's, that's what you're trying to save, right? Massa. Okay. The force, it's like the fierce anger. Of the Lord Yahweh shall not return until he have done it, and until he have performed the intent of his heart in the latter days, ye shall consider it. Self-explanatory, man. So this this, this that judgment is going to be done. The Lord is going to keep his words on everything that I read, man. Everything that I read. Okay. So, let me see. Here. So, I'm gonna close out with this. This is the book of Second Edges, chapter three, starting off at verse thirty. For I have, for I have seen how thou sufferest them sinning, and has spared wicked doers, and has destroyed thy people, and has preserved thine enemies, and has not sanctified it. OK, because we see, you know, the heathen prospering. We see these Edomites, especially not being judged, you know, getting out of things left and right and, you know, prospering and all all types of uh, wickedness, man. OK, verse 31. I do not remember how this way may be left. Are they then of Babylon better than they of Zion? Hell no. OK, the wicked is reserved for the day of destruction, roughly paraphrasing in Job. Verse 32, or is there any other people that knoweth thee besides Israel? Or is there any other people that knoweth thee besides Israel? Let's get a scripture. Let's see what the Bible says. Amos chapter three, starting off at verse one. 
hear this word that Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, have spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only, you only, you only, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So the Lord only knows Israel, man. So back to Second Edris chapter 3, verse <clears throat> 32. <clears throat> or is there any other people that knew of thee besides Israel? Or what generation have so believed thy covenants as Jacob? <clears throat> And yet their reward appeareth not, and their labor have no fruit. For I have gone here and there through the heathen, and I see that they flow in wealth, and think not upon thy commandments. Do you hear that? They flow in wealth and think not upon thy commandments. So this Bible only applies to Israel, the, the commandments, the laws, the promises, the covenants, everything, the salvation. The kingdom of heaven. Okay, and, and yes, the, the heathen will be in the kingdom of heaven, but you, you best believe, you best believe they ain't going to like their position in the first 1,000 years. All right? Verse 34. Weigh thou therefore our wickedness now in the balance, and theirs also that dwelleth, so like that dwell in the world, and so shall thy name and so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. Or when was it that they which dwell upon the earth have not sinned, sinned, like a sinned in thy sight? Or what people have so kept thy commandments, man? And we see these heathens sinning left and right. We see in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, only amongst only amongst Israel, and furthermore, only amongst uh, 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 the elect, which we hope and pray to be, man. Okay, verse thirty-six: Thou shalt find that Israel, thou shalt find that Israel, by name, have kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. So you can you can try to apply this Bible to the heathen, Jake. It don't have a, a damn thing to do with them besides judgment. And yes, it has the history of everything, but this book, okay, these precepts, these holy scriptures are mainly for Israel. Okay? So I'm gonna leave it right there, man. I know it was a little bit long, only had a few precepts really, but other ones came, but uh it is what it is, man. But you know, I don't wanna write this out, man. I hope. And I pray that this was edifying, uplifting, and informative to the true, sincere Aki and Akwaf. So with that, I'm just going to say, for putting the spirit on me, my elder apostles, elder bishops, elders, brothers on down, for doing these epistles to enlighten you, to inform you, to edify you, and uplift you to the power and spirit and words of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. May the blessing and election and protection be upon you and your household. I don't want Rataza until the next one. So with that, I'm just gonna say Shalom. Mentality right here. Because you are the strongest dumb mother. Oh, I can't stand you two third niggas, man. I can't wait till the Lord come and just and, and wipe you two third niggas out, man. You bald face, no beard, having no knowledge, having running your mouth, putting some stupid ass videos up. You know, help hurting, hurt, hurting the cause and helping the enemy.